What is up guys, this is Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here with a Cav M I'm here with a Cav M Fall Winter 17 lookbook review type of thing. So it's sort of gonna be like my live reactions to the Cav M lookbook. Um I've only looked at it like briefly once, but I'm gonna go into depth about what products I think I'm interested in and worth things that I think people should be excited about. So starting off with the first fit, I believe the first fit is this huge little, not huge little, that's, that fucking makes no sense. This huge Cav M type of pullover, is it? No, it's more of like a, is it a parka? Like I'd say it's like a parka, it looks relatively thin. I'm not sure, but around the, around the arm sleeves, it's a bit baggy. I'm not a big fan of the pants. I've just never been a fan of like super, super baggy pants. So like some people like it. I'm looking more towards the the upper, the top. I think the top looks super nice. Um, his hair is fucking crazy. What you doing, man? I don't see myself copying it anytime soon. I don't really like the track upper all that much. So, so far the first two looks kind of meh. So going on to the next two fits, I actually really do like the jacket on the third fit. The third fit reminds me of like possibly archive, like helmet long type of inspired. It looks like a military jacket, but it also looks like it has like super puffed up like neckline area. Um, I'm not sure what the graphic tee looks like. The graphic tee actually looks sort of nice. I'm kind of more interested on whatever that maroon or burgundy under shirt is going to be. I I hope it's going to be like some cool design. Maybe a long sleeve or maybe a... I, I don't know. Maybe like a cool tee design with like a burgundy. I really do want this to be, you know, a nice color. I do like the color of the tan jacket though. That's probably one of my favorite um, items. The fourth fit... I don't know, I, I'm not feeling anything. Like the jacket's a bit too puffy for me. Um, the shirt, I'm not much of a shirt guy. Um, like sometimes I wear shirts, but then it's usually very casually and I, I don't know, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the fourth fit. The fifth fit, I really do like, uh, like the jacket seems a little bit too played out. It looks a bit boring to me. The under whatever sweater it is, the half zip, I really do like that. I might be copying that once it comes out. Um, the cargo baggy pants, it's pretty meh. See, like, I feel like I'm not a big fan of Cav M's, like, bottoms. Because I'm a bit more, like, I do like tapered bottoms. I do like it a little bit more skinny, a little bit um, form-fitting for the bottoms. That could change in the future, but this is a bit too baggy for me at this moment. The sixth fit, I do like the sweater, but just, it's this weird part of me that's like, it looks kind of ugly, but, it, like, I feel like it could look cool. Cause like, I feel like you could um, possibly pair, I don't know, like you could probably pair some denim on that. Like I know people are gonna be like, re, re denim. But I do think denim could work really well with this. Um, I'm a little bit more interested in whatever yellow t-shirt he's wearing underneath. The bottoms are cool. I can never wear them though. It reminds me of like fireman bottoms for some reason. Not a fan of the jacket, not a fan of his posture. I'd be interested to see what the T is, but eh. The next fit, I do kind of like the jacket, but I do think it's a little bit too big for him. Like even in Cav M sizing, I think it's a little bit too big for him. I am digging the top though. Like I am digging that like red, like maroon, like wine colored top. I think that's super, super nice. I think that's gonna be like a killer color. Um, the pants, I haven't really been feeling the print that they've been doing, like this weird, like distorted print. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know. This models, both of these models' faces just look so discontent. Like they're like, what the fuck you do? This mind bad bent. Uh, the next fit. Eh. And that next fit is. Eh. Oh boy, this man. Whose man is this, dude? Look at this. Look at this boy. He's all decked out in that pattern that I hate. It reminds me of like microorganisms. It's like, I don't know, it's just weird. I might, ah no, fuck it, no. I actually don't really like it at all. I'm sorry, it's just that print. I just can't, I can't mess with it. This next fit, I do like the jacket. I just think I can't wear it in California since it's too big. I actually do have the sweater. The sweater actually looks really nice. 
Let me bring it out. So here is the sweater. It was a part of the first draw. So it's actually really nice. I do like the print on it. I think it looks super cool. And it's a pretty thick sweater. That's why I'm like iffy. I I'm about five foot nine, five foot ten, and I'm about 158 pounds. And I had to get a size large because I had a size medium hoodie and it was a bit too short on me. So this is actually super nice. They've changed a lot of um a lot of well not a lot of things, but they did change some things about the cab vent because a lot of them used to have just cab vent on the top right, now they have it on the bottom. So I just thought that was a little bit of a weird switch up. This next fit, I do like the pullover. I that might be the only thing or one of the only more expensive items I will get. I do like the bottoms a bit more, but I don't think I'd wear the bottoms. Just it just in general, cab vent bottoms, I am just not a huge fan of them. Because like there isn't anything like stand out with them it's just baggy and i can get baggy stuff anywhere but i do like the pullover i think that's gonna look super nice it's very dark it's very muted and i do like that the bomber looks fucking crazy that might be that might be a cop for me probably just the bomber itself with that crazy print up front i think that'll look really nice that's probably like a key highlight point of this collection at least in my opinion i'm not feeling the shirt i'm not feeling that dark shirt just I'm not sure I'm just not feeling it cuz um cuz I know they had a short sleeve version of this and I was sort of feeling that but the long sleeve I don't know it just doesn't look super nice same with the next one um, I am a fan of that color of yellow but I don't really like it like I feel like it just doesn't play with my current style or my current look right now I feel like it is like a good like it looks like a workers jacket and I do think it'll look nice as a worker's jacket, but I don't think I would cop it, personally. That next hoodie, I am gonna cop. I'm gonna cop. Uh, it's just like this nice like halo blue with this nice pink sleeve and this cool graphic, and I just think that's like... He's the cop, boy. The next one, I might cop the sweatshirt. That seems like an interesting thing. I just wish I could see a bit more of it, but I'm... Lately, I've been more into colors because I noticed that most of my wardrobe is black, white, and gray in shades of navy. So I have been trying to expand out of my normal comfort zone. So as I say with a fucking gray tee, yeah, I've been trying to reach out of my comfort zone. So I do like those like super crazy colors. Not like neon, but it has to work well, you know? So the last two fits, ooh. I, I am sort of a fan of the T of the second to last guy. I do like that T. I'm not sure if it's a T or a sweater. Um, not really feeling the jacket, but I am feeling the T underneath or the long sleeve. And the last one, I think it's the back of back of the first jacket. I think we saw. I like it. I like it. I might even like it more than the bomber. I'll just have to compare prices and see which one I like more to cop. So far, the lookbook looks really promising. There are a few items that I am looking forward to, especially that last over jacket. I'm not even sure. Is it like a pullover? It's like a parka. But I do think it'll look super nice. Another item is that hoodie with that, with that like halo blue with like that ditto pink, if even. I want that. Another thing that I want is the pine green and then the gray pullover. Like, I think that'll look super nice. Um, I've already copped this, which is probably one of the highlight items for me. And one second. And I already copped this, which was one of the items that I really liked. As you see, Cabin, they changed the text and they made it larger and they made it towards the bottom. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I cop this. This is probably one of my favorite items as well. So last season, I wasn't really feeling too much of whatever Kevin was doing, but this season, I do like it a lot more. I do like the colors. Um, I think the only thing from last season that I really liked was the overdyed tees and the collab with Show Studio. Those were the only like two big items that I really liked. I passed on the Show Studio. Now I'm trying to find it in a size large or an XL or something like that. And it's been hard because people are upcharging. So I'll try to find something close to retail. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my quick overview of Cabin Fall Winter 17. And yeah, I'll be doing a pickups video once towards the middle of the season, maybe towards the end, just so see if you know I can 
add it all into one cabinet video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.